So I pray that um, the fire of God protect me. And it's funny because it's just a normal matchstick, yet it's burning continuously, which I find amazing because usually a matchstick will last for only a few seconds and this matchstick is burning brightly for me it has been for a few minutes now and it's still burning so wow because i said um as this fire burns, let me be protected from evil. Um, it's still burning. Let's see how long it burns. What? Because it's just a normal matchstick, but. Seems there's something wet here. I'm reading the Bible. Finally, all of you be of one mind, sympathetic, loving toward one another, compassionate, humble. Do not return evil for evil or insult for insult, but on the contrary, a blessing, because to this you were called, that you might inherit a blessing. For whoever would love life and see good days must keep the tongue from evil and the lips from speaking deceit, must turn from evil and do good seek peace and follow after it for the eyes of the lord for the eyes of the lord are on the righteous and his ears turn to their prayer but to, but the face of the lord is against evil doers now who is going to harm you if you are enthusiastic for what is good but even if you should suffer because of righteousness blessed are you Blessed are you. Do not be afraid or terrified with fear of them, but sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with a gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins. Once the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. 
put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. In it, he also went to preach to the spirits in prison, who had once been disobedient while God patiently waited in the days of Noah during the building of the ark in which a few persons, eight in all, were saved through water. This prefigured baptism, which saves you now, it is not a removal of dirt from the body, but an appeal to God for a clear conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers subject to him. Therefore, since Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same attitude, for whoever suffers in the flesh has broken with sin, so as not to spend what remains of one's life in the flesh on human desires, but on the will of God. For the time that has passed is sufficient for doing what the Gentiles like to do, living in debauchery, evil desires, drunkenness, orgies, carousing, and wanton idolatry. They are surprised that you do not plunge into the same swamp of profligacy, and they vilify you. But they will give an account to him who stands ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is why the gospel was preached even to the dead, that though condemned in the flesh in human estimation, they might live in the spirit in the estimation of God. Christian charity, the end of all things is at hand. Therefore be serious and sober for prayers. Above all, let your love for one another be intense because love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. As each one has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's very grace. Whoever preaches, let it be with the words of God. Whoever serves, let it be with the strength that God supplies so that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Trial of Persecution Beloved, do not be surprised that a trial by fire is occurring among you, as if something strange were happening to you. But rejoice to the extent that you share in the sufferings of Christ, so that when His glory is revealed, you may also rejoice exultantly. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. But let no one among you be made to suffer as a murderer, a thief, an evildoer, or as an intriguer. But whoever is made to suffer as a Christian should not be ashamed, but glorify God because of the name. For it is time for the judgment to begin with the household of God. If it begins with us, how will it end for those who fail to obey the gospel of God? And if the righteous one is barely saved, what will the godless and the sinner appear? Where will this godless and sinner appear? As a result, those who suffer in accord with God's will hand their souls over to a faithful Creator as they do good. So I exhort the presbyters among you, as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ, and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed, tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Likewise, you younger members, be subject to the presbyters, and all of you clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but bestows favor, favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. 
Cast all your worries upon him because he cares for you. Thank you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your fellow believers throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory through Jesus Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little time. To him be dominion forever. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Conclusion I write this briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you to testify that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One at Babylon sends you greeting, as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. Let's look up all the little, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, and praise to you, God. And the fire is still burning. It's so funny. It's amazing. Um. Well, it's now 7:32 a.m. I'm going to shut it down because I finished reading the Gospel of Peter. But um, let's see how long the fire stays.